Someone tell me where this four hundred seventy nine dollars and fifty seven cents of whatever oh, denomination sorry, should I have done the one? comes from. No, no, no. It's this is fine. I wanted someone else to help me out. So if you get the original amount and you divide it by a hundred and then the, you times the answer by ninety seven. Okay. This is this is what you're suggesting that I do. Yes. Okay. Now, Wait, someone help me out. Come on. What What's that about? Oh, right. Because it's like add to three, and then you get a hundred. I just think it's hundred percent minus it. Who agrees? Well, I just think it's ninety-seven percent times. See, the thing is, I just said times three percent. Ninety-seven. Yeah, I agree. Three times three percent. Who agrees? Yeah, people agree. Yeah. Well, you get the answer. What do What do you think? Aren't you meant to do four point nine four times by ninety-seven? Four nine. This original number? Uh, yes. Divided by 103%. Is that what you're suggesting? 1.53, yeah. Yeah, okay, all right. It's a slightly different answer, but I think that's actually the right answer. What is the slightly different answer you get? 480. 480 and anything after that? Just 480. Okay. I did 494. Okay, I'm very interested. Very, very interested because, because. Um, these two things, they're clearly in the same ballpark, so our common sense check is going to fail us here, because both of them could be right. But which one is it? Which one is it? What do you reckon, Emily? I had a different system. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I'm listening. So I had... Which number, what number did you start with? Four, seven, nine, four. Wait, what? <laughs> you mean that number? 494.4%. Yeah. Times that by 3%. Times 3%. Then yep. get that amount and yep. have the 494.4% and then take away that amount I got as a result. Oh, so like you're saying do that and <laughs> subtract it from this? Is that what you're saying? What do you reckon? Yeah, well, because I just checked the first one. 494.4 yeah. times by 97 over 100. Yeah. This one? The same one. No, this one? So you can just do 97%. Yeah, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. Is that not exactly the same as yeah, this? Yeah, it's the same thing. I don't know. Sorry, yeah. let me rephrase. That's exactly the same thing as that. As that. Yeah. See, I think what's... Because it's 3% weight tries. Not a whole lot. Sorry, Kiel, we cut you off mid-sentence. So, you go. if she received the 3% wage rise, that's 3% yeah. on the original amount that we're trying to find out. Not 3% on this, but if yeah. you do it, uh -huh. if you do it the way that everyone's been doing it, you get 3% of that, you end up having to round it up to almost the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're almost there. All right, now, Akil said something very, very helpful here. Thanks, yes. Because, you know, we, how do we sort out which one is which, right? Which, which approach do we take? And by the way, that having this thought, right. having this thought right now, I think you're doing more maths right now than any of you were when you actually did your answer, right? Like, can you convince yourself, no, this one's right because, or this one's wrong because, just to finish. Now, the thing I think Akil said, which is so helpful, is understanding what this 3% is, which is another way of saying, what does that 3% apply to? So, let's rewind a little bit. Julie had some weekly wage. It's pretty good, apparently, okay? She had a weekly wage. It went up to this. The, the reason it went up is because it was some amount and she got a 3% rise, right? So, it was some number. Now, here's the thing, right? When you have a number and you don't know what it is, we have a whole branch of mathematics dedicated to when you don't know what these numbers are. We call it algebra, right? So let me just say, let's call her um, weekly wage W for weekly wage, okay? So that wage, I have to multiply it by something to make it bigger, right? 3% uh, bigger, and that'll give me her new weekly wage. Does that make sense? Okay, so what I multiply it by? 103% or 1.03, they'll be the same thing. Right? So her old weekly wage it gets bigger by 3%. And what does it equal to after that happens? That number, right? Okay, now that you've written this, I hope this shows you which answer is right and why. What are we trying to find? 
We're trying to find W, her wage before the increase. So what do I do to both sides here? I divide, by one, divide, one, divide through. I mean, okay. Or 1.03. Okay. <coughs> now, this is so interesting, right? Because it's a small number, because 3%. Right, is pretty close actually to like what you're doing if you're doing it in reverse. You end up with answers that are quite close to each other. Okay, but what this question is assessing is, like Akil mentioned, right? Do you really understand this and what it applies to? Right. Um, the numbers are not hard. Right. Actually, punching this into your calculator, that's the easy part. Uh, 103. But knowing what to put where, that's the hard part. Right. And we all disagree. So I'm glad we thought about that. I hope it makes sense. Right. I don't know if any of you wrote down this line. I wouldn't be surprised if you didn't, that's okay. But I hope you can see why me writing this line sort of settles it. It's like, oh, okay. This makes sense of the question, so that's why I can use it. Otherwise, we're all just sort of arguing back and forth with no reasoning behind it. Okay? Um, how come that's so close to the actual How come it's so close? Because, because, the difference between uh, this answer and this answer is, is the 3% about what you had before, right? 3% uh, of, well, what is the, is it, is this number, right? Yeah. 3% right. of this number, right? Or, when you do this thing, this 97%, what you're now working out is 3% of this number. Okay, now look, 494 and 40 cents, 480, they're pretty close. And 3% is a small amount, right? So when you're taking a small amount of numbers that are pretty close, that's why these end up being very similar to each other. Okay. Wait, so it's for a new video number as well? Yeah. 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 Alright, um, are we happier about the second questions? Yes. Yeah? Okay. So maybe Gary, you were right in the first place. The first one was. <laughs> Should we have a look at it? Let's have a look. Um, $25,000 vintage car after two years. It increases in value by 8% and then it decreases in value by 8%. 5% rather, because, I don't know, they left the EU or something. Okay, now, um, therefore, what calculation comes before we get this number? Can I just confirm? What did you actually put into your calculator? 1.08 times 25,000. 1.08 times the 25,000. So that's going to be the first year. And then what do I do with that? And then from that, you calculate the second year. Okay, so then the second year, because it decreases in value, I'm going to... Now, I can do this on one hit, right? If I lose 5%, what percentage is left over? It's like this, isn't it? It's like this, right? I'll only be left with 95%. So I could do that. I could do it all in one hit. And that should give me that. Yes? Okay, now calculate the overall percentage change in value. Do you want to have a go? Isn't it just that it's 2, two 5, 6, sorry, 2, what's This number? Six, five, yeah, the final value yep. minus your original value, which is 2, 5, 0, 0, 0, 25,000. Okay, pause, pause. Sandy's right. What does this tell us? Like, this isn't the final answer. This is, this is the difference. So this is the change. And then I want to work out from that. Percentage change, right? Okay, Sandy, do you want to keep going now? And then you divide it by 100. <laughs> no, no, I no, do no, have no. to divide. What am I dividing by? So you divide it over the, um, the, the original value, so that's 25,000, and then you times 500. Okay, very good. So what you're doing here, right, is you're comparing the change, that's the numerator, with whatever you started from, and that'll give you 2.6. Does that give you 2.6? Yes. There you go. 